Let's move on to the pre delight for Triumph then. Enable looking to become the uh, well, a dual winner of the race, the seventh dual winner of the race. How do we bet, Nicola? Yeah, I mean, she could go off odds on at the minute. She was, once the draw came out, we cut her odds into even money. Stall six is an ideal draw. Um, you know, she blew off the cobwebs at Kempton. It's very hard to pick holes in her. She's just a fantastic horse. And Frankie de Tori, we, we had a blog with him the other week, and he's just so excited about this. Just generally, um, he's excited. Though, well, he? he is an excitable <laughs> character, but, you know, he, you know, and he keeps saying it would be a dream to come true, even though he's won it five times. But it's still, you know, it, he's still really looking forward to it and really bullish about her. Sea of Class drifted a bit. The draw isn't ideal in 15. I think Haggis would be very disappointed with that. So, we eased him out to seven to two, um, but he's still the biggest threat to enable in the betting. Um, the each way punters have been back in Walgeast all week at thirteen to two, um, and probably the pick of the French. And Q Gardens has been nibbled at cut into ten to one from twelve to one. And although it's the draw isn't ideal, I think seems to be you know he seems to be picking at the right time. Can you see past enable? Or are you going to put up a uh, an each way selection against her? I, I actually love this race. I think it's just uh, it's really having nice. a Philly a Philly second favourite and this would be mayor um, favourite. Um, but I remember when uh, Aidan O'Brien ran Mendelssohn in the Kentucky Derby and he he couldn't get over. I remember um, he had some like press day at Ballydoyle like the following Monday or Tuesday. Oh yeah. And I was actually in the states for the Kentucky Derby and um, it was lashing rain and it was and everyone was all about just fine and all that. But Aidan was like. Gee, they, they, they run rough over there. They run seriously rough. This is going to be a rough race, right? Aidan O'Brien has three in this race at 50 to 1 or bigger. How can Kew Gardens win this race? Needs a strong gallop, right? Longchamp is a track that has a lot of critics at the moment in terms of how the ground is. Um, what are we, 18 runners? It's going to be really, really um, traffic heavy, I suppose. Yeah, and they That's swing a, around that turn as well. Yeah. Just, Remember, see the start, but the, the, the torture he had to overcome to actually get through. Remember, the Dylan Thomas win probably should have been thrown out. Um, it's going to be a rough race, and this is all about the gardens. You know, um, David Jennings tipped this horse up earlier in the year. Apparently, Aiden said that this horse is a little bit underrated. He will come good, just he needs a bit of time. And he's not as slow as people think. You know, when he ran in the ledger, he was on top of the mile and a half part of the race. He yeah. was traveling easily. I, I didn't think it was stamina that won the day necessarily, I thought it was just class. And I think now they're realising that we're riding this horse as we should have been riding him all along, like the class act that he is. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he lost his first three starts comprehensively as a three-year-old. I remember when, when he lost his derby trial, I was like, where are we going with this horse? Um, and now I think he's just peaking form and stairs have a good record in this race and I'm not even sure he's a good he's actually a stair per se so. yeah, well, or just St George was third in the race West a couple of years ago in like, his, um, you know, I, I could give him a reasonably two chance what about you Juki can you look past the filly or either of the fillies yeah I think I can at the prices I mean uh, Enable is a, is a top class filly obviously um, I just she was very good in Kempton but she got really warm before the race now of course, she's so inbred to Galileo, and that's a Galileo trait, so maybe it's inevitable that she sweats. But she got particularly warm. There's always the chance that she might bounce, and she's a short price. I think the gardens, I mean, I thought that run in the ledger was just a revelation, the way he travelled. But you're worried about backing it up now? Well, just uh, ledger winners have a terrible record of backing up. Yeah. It? But this is Aiden. The horses couldn't be going any better. He's basically improved. Well, the, the, the prep run was in York, but it's up to that. And following on from that, his career has been one of gradual progression. I actually think he's going to put up a career best here. May not be enough, but surely goes close to, 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 to getting into three and all chance of each way. Okay, so you're going Q Gardens? Q Gardens. You're going Q Gardens, Nicola? Enable. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs>